Hey guys, what's up? It's Vivi here again. Today we are coming with another Halloween look. So we're gonna do half pumpkin, half beauty. I don't know what side I'm gonna do, but that's what we're recreating today. Special request. So let's go ahead and get into it. We already know this is gonna be a little lengthy, so I'm gonna try to keep it as short and cute as possible. And make sure you before you get to watching them. Please hit that subscribe button. Most importantly, hit that share button. Share this video with a friend. Hit that like button and comment down below your favorite Halloween look I have done so far. All right, see ya. All right guys, now you see me just prepping my face, applying my foundation, using my Fenty Beauty and the shade 440 and always using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer to blur out those pores and I'm going to do my brow just a little bit quickly off of camera and of course setting it using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade tan. I really do like this concealer. Um, I learned to start blending it out and from the outside to the inside and I feel like that's a much better blend. I think I applied too much concealer but it's okay and I'm only doing one side of my face because of course we're doing a half face today half pumpkin half beauty once again I'm applying my bronzer the same old Becca Maui Knights and my burnt pepper blush now you see me marking out the side of my face that's going to be in my gore and the other side that is going to be my glam with my white NYX jumbo milk crayon and the crayon case the box of crayons palette it is clutch baby you can do everything with it you can do these glam makeups and you can do these colorful scary makeups with it as well i think i'm applying tan right above the crease and in the crease i'm going in with dark plum and then i'm going to deepen up the outer and inner corner with black but as always with your eyeshadows just remember to blend 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 these videos go by so fast but i don't want you guys to forget that you must blend so that you can have a seamless transition from top to bottom and now i'm adding that orange shade to my lid it is a shimmer and it is really really pretty and really really pigmented and across the bottom of my lash line i'm just going to go in with my tan and that deep plum shade as well just to bring that whole eye look together nice me pulling down on my lower lid with a beauty blender to apply my MAC eyeliner and using my NYX epic eyeliner of course to do my wing liner nice and me cleaning up some of that white I don't know how the white is going to react with the paint I'm still using the same 98 cent Walmart paint so we know it's cheap so we don't want to mix any other shades with it I don't want it to make it creamy or anything like that so now you see me applying that orange paint and the only problem I have with this paint is it is not very pigmented it looks pigmented on camera but it really went on sheer so and I had to let it dry down I had to do, apply one layer and then let it dry down and it dried a little bit darker but you see me rubbing a little more in and it's kind of getting a little creamy a little white I didn't want that so I let it dry down off camera and then I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Zulu palette with that orange shade and what is the orange shade it doesn't have a name it's just orange um and setting that orange color now I look like a pumpkin now I'm looking orange and I'm just carving an outline of my pumpkin with my black eyebrow pomade and I'm gonna do some black shading with the black shade at the top of my forehead just to give a nice transition now you see me laying down those black lines for the pumpkin shape I kind of put a curve in them just a little bit because we all know our face have curvature and pumpkins have curvature so just give them a little curve you know I'm just laying it down really light and I'm gonna go back in and darken them up 
nice heavy carving out the eye part for my black paint. And for this black paint, I'm using the, I got it out of Walmart as well. It's the Wet n Wild Black Paint Pot. And it's really awesome. It's really, really nice. Once it warmed up with my skin, it went on really, really well. And now I just went in with this small um, kind of sponge that came with the little set that I have and just going in over those lines and darken them up and smudging them out. I didn't want really, really clean lines because we all know it's not that clean. It is Halloween. But you're going to see me go in with my black eyeshadow and really smudge out a lot of these lines to make it more realistic. This is really, really easy, really simple, really beginner. Just give it your best shot. I promise you can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Now you see me laying down the mouth part. I almost forgot the mouth part. And of course, still using the Juvia's Place liquid lipstick in the shade Doo Doo. D U D U Doo Doo. Yes. <laughs> I know. Funny, right? And now I'm just carving in those sharp teeth for the pumpkin that you, we're going to carve out. And I'm just going to do that at the top and the bottom with a eyebrow liner. All of these um, brushes that I'm using are my regular makeup brushes. And I clean them out right after just so I won't damage my brushes at all. But it's that same black paint that I'm using to carve in those teeth. Carve them very sharp forwards and backwards. Just small triangular shapes just to get that in good. And I wanted that mask kind of be like a mask to sit on my face. I did want to do like a cracked pumpkin look. But I end up adding shading on the outside of the mask to get it to sit up just a little bit. Just to make it seem like it's popping out. And even with that shading, please make sure I don't think you may not see me do it. But go in and blend out your shading on the outside of the pumpkin just go in and blend that out because you still want to have that smooth you don't want it to be just really dark and really ugly now you see me using my highlight for that glam side yeah we're gonna be extra because it's halloween mm -hmm. that's chasing the sun from dose of colors yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Me if you can. <laughs>